Uh, let's take a quick drive to the University of Ghana, where President of the uh, Students' Representative Council, Sylvester Owusu-Amwako, is opposing to a possible privatization of some four halls in the university. This is as a result of management's failure to repay a 43 million CD loan facility contracted in 2008 for the construction of the halls. Uh, my colleague Selom Amenya is there and joins us live. Hello, Selom. Quapon Hall, Hila Liman, Elizabeth Francis C, and also Zin Nelson. I've held a press conference together with the LSAC, uh, actually registering their displeasure about some happenings in here. What is happening is that um, the management of the school went for a loan uh, some years back, and this loan of uh, 43 million Ghana City has actually grown to about 528 million cities. That was the money they used in constructing these halls. And uh, early this year, the court actually gave a ruling that the school management uh, should actually go ahead and pay these monies to uh, the banks involved. What is happening now is that there have been some meetings here and there and then the banks have given the school um, some leeway of a sort. I have here Sylvester Amwako happens to be the LCRC president. So what, what, what are the issues that you are learning today? All right, thank you very much. So the issues we've been talking about is um, there's been a judgment debt um, that has been um, levied against the school and all of its assets. And you know the interesting thing is that the collateral for the diaspora horse is not just this four horse, but it includes some other horse and some other annexes. And what we are saying is that a simple question has been that yes, management we believe have not done much prudence as far as servicing the loan is concerned. But um, with a word of statement by former President His Excellency John Evans Fifiata Mills that we're going to step in and help service the loan because as of when the halls were supposed to accommodate students. Students started some form of agitation that the fees were high and all. And so there was that um, government intervention. At this point, we've been asked to pay a good faith deposit of 50 million Ghana CD to start off the 50% waiver on the 538 million CDs. And the position of the University of Ghana is they do not have the money. All right, what so, so, so come, SRC, what is happening is that is come, that come, come to the 1st of May. Government. No. Come 31st of May, uh, the, the period that they've actually given the school is going to expire. Between now and 31st of May, what are you seeking to do? So what we are saying is that government should come in and intervene. We are giving a one-week ultimatum. If we are calling for a roundtable discussion with university management and government, we are calling on the Ministry of Education, the MP of this constitu constituency, Ayawaso West Wogon, and His Excellency the President, Nana Dodan Kufuadu, so that we step in and resolve the issues. I have 30 days in office to leave, but I believe that the students that we told we are going to serve will stay in the University of Ghana forever. People are standing in the sun and saying we won't pay, and so we will be bold to defend this just cause forever and ever. Let's all come on board, let's sit together, and let's make it happen. Like we've done in the University of Ghana, we have demonstrated that we can make our voices heard without breaking cars and breaking anything. So we are calling on all alumni, we are calling on UTAG, we are calling on Tewu, we are calling on Tescon, we are calling on T, we are calling on CPP, we are calling on KNUST, we are calling on USAG, we are calling on NUCS to join in as we stand in for yeah, students. And you are saying that if you don't get the round table discussion you're going to embark on some actions? If you don't get a round table discussion, I believe that we would have then exhausted all due diligence. It is not in our place to just march on the streets and make University of Ghana management unpopular or the government unpopular. Not at all. I think we can talk about some good educational policies like free SHS, which is going on. But we believe that we in the University of Ghana need to be attended to. It will interest you to know that in the next three years, we have a lot more of our SHS colleagues coming in here. So if we are already going to have issues with accommodation, then we can say that, yes, the educational system might be at a threat. So it's a just cause, and we are calling for a roundtable discussion with investing management and the government of the Republic of Ghana, and the timeline is one week. Thank All right, you. thank you very much. So they, they've, they've given a one-week ultimatum that if they don't get the roundtable discussion, they are going to match to the registry as well as the flag staff house. Selom Amenya from the University of Ghana campus for TV3 News. Over to you, Parkwesi.
Thank you very much, Selma Menya from the University of Ghana, bringing us up to speed on latest happenings there. This is one of our big stories for the day. The University of Ghana, four halls at the university stand to be privatized as a result of a loan gone bad. The university had contracted a loan of up to 43 million Ghana cities, and these four halls were used as collateral. We're told that over a period of time, the university has been unable to uh, pay these loans, and the four halls uh, risk privatization and the students are extremely angry about this latest development. They want the uh, university authorities to step in and intervene. They want the government to step in and intervene as well. We'll follow up on this story and I'm sure we'll bring you the very latest uh, in our subsequent bulletins. You're watching Media Life here on TV3.